you about today is in 2017, my marketing career and my life changed forever. And so I went on a journey to basically develop a new framework to do marketing. And so I went back and I was in a boardroom and I was like, okay, we got it. What we're going to do is we're going to run Facebook ads to emergency medicine physicians. And people laughed me out of the room, literally, like figuratively, but essentially um, we're not buying into that methodology. And so I got a $500 budget to run a test. And this is where we're going to start getting into the dark funnel concept. Because what was happening is that we were distributing the ads in Facebook. People were consuming it. Maybe they went and told a coworker. Maybe they asked someone at a different facility whether or not they use it. And then they came back on a desktop computer through Google and converted. And all attribution software and all marketing automation is going to measure it on organic search and direct traffic, which will then drive investments if you care a lot about attribution. And that's what a lot of companies do. And so we collected four leads. First one out of the four, we closed one deal for 26K ARR, and it closed in 42 days instead of our normal sales cycle that was 210 days. The sales cycles were dramatically shorter. Customer acquisition cost was 10 times less than our outbound model. And so I'm trying to convince this company to, to move on it. And I did. They, we did a lot of awesome work. It's very successful. But the underlying thing is that all of the things that I was doing were not getting attributed accurately in any of these channels. And I was lucky at this company because when I joined, they didn't even know what marketing automation was. So they didn't know about marketing. They didn't really care about marketing attribution. They just cared, is marketing driving revenue? The reality of the situation is that B2B buyers are discovering, researching, and evaluating products in places that companies can't track. I ran this experiment at my company where what we did is we have Hub HubSpot Enterprise multi-touch attribution running. We have another multi-touch attribution product called Dream Data. And then all we did was put on our form with someone for a request to consultation, how did you hear about us? And left an open text box that people could write stuff. And then we compared the data, less than 50% less than of the things that were reported were accurate. So people are, people are saying, hey, I heard about you from your LinkedIn, your podcast, and multi-touch attribution software in both, in both uh, softwares are telling us organic search or direct traffic. And so I knew that. I knew that before because I saw it in 2017 when I was doing this, but I don't think a lot of people do know that. And that's so, so I'm trying to help people understand that the places where people are discovering you and the places that are making the most impact are not necessarily the things that are getting attributed in, your, in the channels or inside of the attribution software. Awesome. So, Give it up for appreciate you all. Thank you. I know that we can do a lot of business with other companies that are just like that. So I'm thinking, should I go to the trade show that these guys all go to yeah. and uh, try to get their attention? Or is there a way to get into this black hole that you're talking yeah. about? And, uh, you know, like, I don't know if it exists a list of uh, Facebook decision makers that are in that world there, or CMOs. In yeah, or LinkedIn. You can do it in both. Um, LinkedIn, um, organic or paid. A lot of companies we work with use paid just because organic is hard. A lot of the things you can action out on your own. So some of the companies will start a podcast, will execute LinkedIn the way that I do, and then start seeing those that type of impact. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. Great to see you. The place was great. Um, we had about 50, uh, 50 marketers in the room for the talk on the dark funnel. Uh, Love the energy. I decided to do a little bit of talk and a little bit of Q&A. I think people are going to like that. We got some really good we got some really good questions during the session. One of the questions was about um, attribution at the board level and the way that I responded to that is the only re the only reason that I'm using any of that data at the board level is if I'm putting together a business case to go and make an investment or make a major change, right? And I think that a lot of marketing leaders when they have put together board decks they're more so in like i need to defend my budget i need to 
um, prove that the stuff that I'm doing is working. And the way that you prove that the stuff you're doing is working is you demonstrate that you can source a significant amount of revenue for the company through mainly the website. And then if you need to use attribution, you use it strategically um, in certain cases, but you also need to know how to use it because I believe that it gets misused in a lot of cases. Overall, it's just great to be back, you know what I mean? Like it's good to have people together in person. Um, one of the first like sort of big events for me, which is cool and think that a lot of people got a lot of value out of it. What's next? We um, we have a, um, a virtual event with Closed um, talking about, I think, win analysis. So that's happening at one. And then we're filming a podcast for State of Demand Gen. And then we have a networking event on a boat. And then we got Demand Gen Live. And so it is going to be an action packed another nine hours. Hey everyone, this is Chris Walker, the CEO of Refine Labs. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like, comment, or subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. We're also live uh, for Demand Gen Live at 7.30 p.m. Eastern every Tuesday night, which will also go on the State of Demand Gen podcast, which is available on Apple and Spotify. Thanks again and see you next time.